We make writing journals out of old vinyl albums. We upcycle the old vinyl and also the album cover, and we kind of bookbind it together to make a really cool, neat notebook. And we like to say that we, um, you know, kind of make a creative notebook for people to use in their creative lives and to kind of explore their creative side, maybe writing, drawing, art, um, artist, and sketching. So this is kind of our product here. Um, this is Fleetwood Mac Rumors, which is one of our top sellers. Uh, we usually pick side one on this. It has the most hits on it, but some people do occasionally ask for side two, but preferably we do side one. And basically how the, the book works is you open it up and it's kind of a case bound into the vinyl here. Um, so you actually see um, the gradient line or the, the round circle line of the actual label in there. So I'll walk you through how we actually make the journals here. Our first thing is to actually find the album that we're looking for and today we're going to pull our Michael Jackson Thriller, which has been a very popular seller. I always had seen my father as an entrepreneur, um, my brother, my sister-in-law, my cousin, so I always kind of had it in my blood that I always wanted to own my own business. I've been collecting vinyl since I was about 15 years old. I'd buy new albums to replace the old ones I had because they were either scratched or damaged or they had water damage and I kind of had a lot of things lying around that basically would trash. Usually for the Thriller, we usually like to go with side one. We use a laser cutting machine to actually cut our vinyl records. We're not going to show you that today, but I do have one of the Michael Jackson Thriller already cut. And what we do is we actually will physically um, cut the actual album cover. You know, I'm going through them and I was like, wow, you know, this artwork is really bright. And I said, books. I'm going to make books. So I went to Barnes & Noble that night and I remember sitting on the aisle reading about book binding figuring out how I could learn how to book bind. I actually have back this one. So this is what we just cut and this is what it would come down to after I backed it. So after a couple months I started making them for friends and family and they kept saying, you know, you have a product here. You know, this is awesome. Everybody we show this to loves it. You need to start selling these things. And it kind of just evolved from there and um, fortunately was, was able to leave my old corporate job and to start a business doing vintage vinyl journals. We're in about 30 retail stores and we sell it on our online site and we get a lot of custom requests and you know the feedback that we've gotten is people just love them. Um, I use a pH neutral glue um, so and it's all acid free and basically we just take the glue here and this is going to make the outside of our journal. We visit um, Double Decker Records up in Allentown, um, you know, at least every couple weeks, and we get a lot of stuff up through them. Um, I also hit flea markets, thrift stores, yard sales, and kind of find my way through, you know, what people have available. And if it's something really peculiar or really custom and I can't find it, I could always order it online. I, I try not to go that route and I try to, to buy it locally, but if worst case, and I can't find it in two months, I'll go online and, and purchase the album. Now we're going to move on to the second part of our process, which basically after we've let the outside cover and um, the vinyl actually adhere and dry to the book cloth, we will remove the weight off of that one. And what we do is we then case, it's a, called a casing in process, and we case it into what we have here, which are our actual book blocks. And in the inside, we actually use like a cool white, and it's actually a felt paper, and it's very um, thick, and it's a 70 pound text weight, and it's very toothy. So we find it's very conducive for writers, for artists, for sketchers. It's a multi-use kind of paper that's really nice. Um, we also have scrapbookers that use our books as well, because it's all asset free. You know, we're always saying we're an eco-friendly company. And, you know, I think that can mean everything from doing something really small to doing something larger. And, you know, the main portion of our product, which is the vinyl and the album cover, is obviously all recycled. And most of the times it is something that people put out for the trash or people that it winds up in a landfill. Um, you know, some of the stuff that we use has water damage on the bottom, the vinyl scratched. Um, someone may have wrote their name on one side of the label, so nobody really wants to collect those. And it's great that we're able to use that. And then also the paper we use inside is um, at least 30% post-consumer waste um, paper as well. So we really try to strive that in all that we do. We take our paper again, just so that we don't get any glue on the actual book. And we'll do the same process as we did earlier, and we'll put it under a book weight. 
and then we'll let that dry. Usually we try to let it dry overnight. Um, sometimes if we have a, a smaller order or an order that needs to go out that day, we'll let it dry for about six hours, preferably. And once it's dry, we kind of remove the book weight, which we consider, and we just basically take the papers out, and then we have our completed book here. The response so far has been phenomenal. We have gotten in some really great stores, and we've gotten accepted in some really great shows. We recently got a mention, kind of I would say almost an endorsement by Ty Pennington um, on his blog, which was just phenomenal. Last Monday he wrote, we, he wrote about our journals and he has a Johnny Cash journal himself. So it's really great to actually have, you know, to reach out and to be able to hit different audiences. And, and you know, he, he's really into the upcycling and recycling as well, but also design. And he loves the kind of the functionality and design aspect that it's just, you know, we're taking something, repurposing it and making it into a book and, you know, making it pop with the book called, you know, with the book cloth colors and stuff. So the response has been phenomenal. Up next, meet some of the faces at Wildlands Conservancy.